Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are keeping fine and safe and healthy in this pandemic. Uh, so we will start the video today. In this video students, we are going to discuss about digital marketing. We have mostly, uh, many of us have heard the term digital marketing. But very few of us understand what this concept is. So we will begin. What is digital marketing actually? Digital marketing, also called online marketing, is the promotion of brands to connect with potential customers using the internet and other forms of digital communication. This includes not only email, social media and web-based advertising, but also text and multimedia messages as a marketing channel. Essentially, if a marketing campaign involves digital communication, it's digital marketing. Now, there are many people who confuse this digital marketing and inbound marketing. Let me clear this concept. Inbound marketing versus digital marketing is very important. Digital marketing and inbound marketing are easily confused and for good reason. Digital marketing uses many of the same tools as inbound marketing, email and online content to name a few. Both exist to capture the attention of prospects through the buyer's journey and turn them into customers. But the two approaches take different views of the relationship between the tool and the goal. Digital marketing considers how each individual tool can convert prospects. A brand's digital marketing strategy may use multiple platforms or focus all of its efforts on one single platform. Inbound marketing is a holistic concept. It considers the goal first, then looks at the available tools to determine which will effectively reach the targeted customers and then at which stage of the sales funnel that should happen or take place. The most important thing to remember about digital marketing and inbound marketing is that as a marketing professional, you don't have to choose between the two. In fact, they work best together in a combined way. Inbound marketing provides structure and purpose for effective digital marketing to digital marketing efforts, making sure that each digital marketing channels works towards a goal. Now the types of digital marketing. Let's discuss this. There are as many specializations within digital marketing as there are ways of interacting using digital media. Here are a few key examples I'll be sharing. Search engine optimization. Search engine optimization or SEO is technically a marketing tool rather than a form of marketing in itself. The balance defines it as the art and science of making web pages attractive to search engines. The art and science part of SEO is what's more important. SEO is a science because it requires you to research and weigh different contributing factors to achieve the highest possible ranking. Today, the most important elements to consider when optimizing a web page includes firstly, quality of the content, secondly, level of the user, user engagement, thirdly, mobile friendliness, fourthly, number and quality of inbound links, and so on. The strategic use of these factors makes SEO a science, but unpredictability involves making it an art. In SEO, there's no quantifiable rubric 
or consistent rule for ranking highly. Google changes its algorithm almost constantly, so it's impossible to make exact predictions. What you can do is closely monitor your page's performance and make adjustments accordingly. Content marking SEO is a major factor in content marketing. A strategy based on the distribution of relevant and valuable content to a target audience. As in any marketing strategy, the goal of content marketing is to attract leads that ultimately convert into customers. But it does so differently than traditional advertising. Instead of enticing prospects with potential value from a product or service, it offers value for free in the form of written material. Content marketing matters, and there are plenty of stats to prove it. 84% of consumers expect companies to produce entertaining and helpful content experiences. 62% of companies that have at least 5,000 employees produce content every day, daily. 92% of marketers believe that their company values content as an important asset. And effective as content marketing is, it can be tricky also. Content marketing writers need to be able to rank highly in search engine results while also engaging people who will read the materials, share it, and interact further with the brand. When the content is relevant, it can establish strong relationships throughout the pipeline. Social media marketing. Now, what is this? Social media marketing means driving traffic and brand awareness by engaging people in discussion online. The most popular platforms for social media marketing are Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with LinkedIn and YouTube not really far behind. Because social media marketing involves active audience participation, it has become a popular way of getting attention. It's the most popular content medium for B2C marketers at 96% and it's gaining ground in the B2B sphere as well. According to the Content Marketing Institute, 61% of B2B content marketers increased their use of social media this year. Social media marketing offers built-in engagement metrics which are extremely useful in helping you to understand how well you're teaching your audience. You get to decide which types of interactions mean the most to you, whether that means the number of shares, comments, likes, or total clicks to your website. Direct purchase may not even be a goal of your social media marketing strategy. So you have to decide on it. Many brands use social media marketing to start dialogues with audiences rather than encourage them to spend money right away. This is especially common in brands that target the older audiences or offer products and services not appropriate for impulse buying. It all depends on your company's goals, what it is all about. To learn more about how you can help with your social media strategy, you have to do out a comparison between a free social media management tool and the other one to understand the demand. Pay per click marketing. This is also another type of uh, digital marketing. Pay per click or PPC is a platform and paying every time someone clicks on it. How am
and when people see your ad is a bit more complicated. When a spot is available on a search engine result, pages also known as SERP, the engine fills the spot with what is essentially an instant auction. An algorithm prioritizes each available ad based on a number of factors which I'm going to discuss here. Firstly, ad quality, keyword relevance, landing page quality, bid amount. So these are important ones. Each PPC campaign has one or more target actions that viewers are meant to complete after clicking an ad. These actions are known as conversions and they can be transactional or non-transactional. Making a purchase is a conversion, but so is a newsletter sign up or a call made to your home office. Whatever you choose as your target conversions, you can track them via your chosen platform to see how your campaign is doing. Affiliate marketing, another type of digital marketing. Affiliate marketing lets someone make money by promoting another person's business. You could be either the promoter or the business who works with the promoter. But the process is the same in either case. It works using a revenue sharing model. If you are the affiliate, you get a commission every time someone purchases the item that you promote. If you are the merchant, you pay the affiliate for every sale they help you make. Some affiliate marketers choose to review the product of just one company, perhaps on a blog or other third party site. Others have relationships with multiple merchants. Whether you want to be an affiliate or find one, the first step is to make a connection with other party. You can use a platform designed to connect affiliates with retailers or you can start or join a single retailer program. If you are a retailer, and you choose to work directly with affiliates, there are many things you can do to make your program appealing to potential promoters. You will need to provide those affiliates with the tools that they need to succeed. That includes incentives for great results as well as marketing support and pre-made materials. Native advertising, another type of social or uh, digital marketing. Native advertising is marketing in disguise. Its goal is to blend in with its surrounding content so that it's less blatantly obvious as advertising. Native advertising was created in reaction to the cynicism of today's consumers towards ad. Knowing that the creator of an ad pays to run it, many consumers will conclude that the ad is biased and they will con consequently ignore it. A native ad gets around this bias by offering information or entertainment before it gets to anything promotional. Downplaying the ad aspect, it's very important. It's important to always label your native ads clearly. Use words like promoted or sponsored. If those indicators are conceived, readers might end up spending significant time engaging with the content before they realize that it's actually an advertising. When your consumers know exactly what they are getting, they'll feel better about your content and your brand. Native ads are meant to be less obtrusive than traditional ads, but they are not meant to be deceptive. Marketing automation, another type of digital marketing. 
marketing automation uses software to power digital marketing campaigns, improving the efficiency and relevance of advertising. According to statistics, 90% of the U.S. consumers find personalization either very or somewhat appealing. 81% of consumers would like the brands they engage with to understand them better. 77% of companies believe in the value of real-time personalization and 60% struggle with it. Marketing automation lets companies keep up with the expectation of personalization. It allows brands to collect and analyze consumer information. It allows design targeted marketing campaigns, send and post marketing messages at the right times to the right audiences or customers. Many marketing automation tools use prospect engagement with a particular message to determine when and how to reach out the next. This level of real-time customization means that you can effectively create an individualized marketing strategy for each customer without any additional time investment. Email marketing. Another kind of digital marketing. The concept of email marketing is quite very simple. You send a promotional message and hope that your prospect clicks on it. However, the execution is much more complex. First of all, you have to make sure that your emails are wanted. This means having an opt-in list that does the following. Let's discuss that individualizes the content both in the body and in the subject line, states clearly what kind of emails the subscriber will get, offers a clear unsubs uh, unsubscribe option, integrates both transactional and promotional emails. You want your prospects to see your campaign as a valued service not just a promotional tool. Email marketing is a proven, effective technique on all the own of its, by all, or by all its own. 89% of the survey professionals named it as their most effective lead generator. It can be even better if you incorporate other techniques such as, you know, marketing automation, which lets you segment and schedule your emails so that they meet your customers' needs more effectively and efficiently. Actually, the benefits of digital marketing, we haven't discussed that, so let's start with it. Digital marketing has become prominent largely because it reaches such a wide audience of people, but it offers a number of other advantages as well. So here I'm going to discuss the few benefits. A broad geographic reach. When you post an ad online, people can see it no matter where they are, provided you have limited your ad geographically. This makes it easy for your business or for your company to grow and reach the market. It becomes easier for market reach out. Cost efficiency. Digital marketing not only reaches a broader audience than traditional marketing, but also carries a lower cost. Overhead cost for newspaper ads, television spots, and other traditional marketing opportunities can be very high. They also give you less control over whether you target audiences will see those messages in the first place or not. When digital marketing or with digital marketing, you can create just one content piece that draws visitors to your blog as long as it's active. You can create an email 
marketing campaign that uh, delivers messages to targeted customers lists on a schedule and it's very easy to change that schedule or the content if you need to do so when you add it up all digital marketing gives you much more flexibility and customer contact for your ad spend quantifiable results are also there to know whether your marketing strategy has worked or it's working you have to find out how many customers it attracts and how much revenue it ultimately drives but how do you do that with a non digitally marketing strategy there's always the traditional option of asking each customer how did you find us so how did you find us madam and fortunately that really doesn't work in all the industries many companies don't get to have the one on one conversations with their customers or clients and surveys don't always get the complete result but with digital marketing results monitoring is very simple digital marketing software and platforms automatically track the number of desired conversations that you get whether that means email open rates visits to your home page or direct purchases easier personalization is also very uh, very much possible digital marketing allows you to gather customer data in a way that offline marketing can't data collected digitally tends to be more precise and specific imagine you offer financial services and want to send out special offers to people who have looked at your products you know you'll get better results if you target the offers to the person's interest so you decide to prepare two campaigns one is for young families who have looked at your uh, products so you say life insurance products and the other is for millennial entrepreneurs who have considered your retirement plans so there can be these options how would you gather all of that data without automated tracking how many phone records would you have to go through about how many customer profiles would you check and how do you know who has or hasn't read the brochure you sent out with digital marketing all of this information is already at your fingertips it is possible and ready more connection with customers is possible digital marketing lets you communicate with your customers in real time more importantly it lets them communicate with you now think about your social media strategy It's great when you target audiences and they see your latest posts but it's even better when they comment on it or share it it means more buzz surrounding your product or services as well as increased visibility every time someone joins the conversation interactivity benefits your customers as well their level of engagement increases as they become active participants in your brand stories that sense of ownership or belonging can create a strong sense of brand loyalty easy and convenient conversations are possible digital marketing lets your customers take action immediately after viewing your ad or content with traditional advertisement the most immediate result you can hope for is a phone call shortly after someone is viewing your ad but how often does someone have the time to reach out to the company while they are doing the dishes or driving down the highway or you know updating records at work or working seriously but with digital marketing they can click a link 
or save a blog post and move along the sales funnel right away. They might not make a purchase immediately or just sooner or later, but they'll stay connected with you and give you a chance to interact with them further. Digital marketing creates a lot of growth. Digital marketing should be one of the primary focuses of almost any business or uh, organization's overall marketing strategy. Never before has there been any way to stay in such consistent contact with your customers or consumers and nothing else offers the level of personalization that digital data can provide. The more you embrace the possibilities of digital marketing, the more you will be able to realize your company's growth potential. How does digital marketing actually work? It's a question which many of us have in mind. Digital marketing is a great option for any business. At Disruptive, we have used digital marketing to help all kinds of business grow. From mom and pop shops to internationally recognized universities and beyond. That's the beauty of advertising online or digital marketing. If you actually know who you want to target, you can use digital marketing to target anyone and anywhere. However, that being said, certain types of business will benefit more from certain types of digital marketing. As a quick overview, let's take a look at which strategies tend to work best for business to consumer, that is B2C companies, and business to business, that is B2B companies. B2B companies, first start with B2C companies. Generally speaking, B2C companies have much lower price points than B2B counterparts. After all, it can be a little hard to sell 150,000 drill bit to a harried mom. But a 10 rupee pair of kid pants, that's a fairly straightforward sell. The good news is because B2C companies aren't trying to sell incredibly expensive products or services which are beyond you know our uh, capacity they don't need big sales teams or complicated marketing funnels all they have to do is get their products or services in front of the right audience with the right messaging and the rest should take care of itself as a primary result the primary goal of this B2C companies is to get people into and through their marketing funnel. For example, if you can get a mom onto your kid's clothing website and offer her an exciting deal, there's a good chance that she'll buy today. You don't need to build a ton of brand awareness or trust before you can uh, close the sale with her. With that in mind, B2C companies often see great results from higher funnel marketing channels like social media marketing or you know paid or uh, social advertising. These channels do great do actually do a great job of getting your business in front of potential customers who might not otherwise know that you uh, were actually existing now supplementing with other digital marketing strategies like paid search or as i discussed seo is always a good idea but if you have to pick one channel to start with Paid social advertising or social media marketing are the best or great options for B2C. B2B companies discussing about that. In contrast, paid search is a great option for B2B companies. Most B2B companies have very specific niche audiences that can be hard to target using social media. 
However, if you sell 150,000 drill bits and someone searches for diamond tipped oil drilling bit manufacturer, you want to be the first dresser they see. Yes, you might pay more for your click than you would pay, have paid for social advertising. But with 150,000 price tag, it's money well spent. In addition, most B2B companies have a much longer and more involved sales cycle than B2C companies. If you are selling 150,000 drill bit, most people probably don't come to your site, give you a call and say, I want one. As a result, long-term strategies like content marketing or email marketing are often necessary to close a deal like this. Of course, the right blend of digital marketing tactics will vary from industry to industry and from business to business. But simply comparing B2C or B2B companies should help give you a sense of how different strategies can be better for certain businesses. Not every strategy is right for every, for every business. But with a little trial and error, you should be able to identify the most profitable approach for your company. Now, how do I get started with digital marketing? The good news is getting started with digital marketing is fairly easy. Most online advertising platforms makes it easy to sign up and create your first campaign. It's how actually they make money after all. There are few links for beginners, guides or for different, uh, several or different digital marketing paid up strategies paid search advertising, search engine optimization, that is SEO, or paid social media advertising, uh, social media marketing, conversion rate optimization, or there can be content marketing, email marketing, and so on. The core of every successful digital marketing campaign, however, is not a guide. Regardless of which strategies you choose to use, here are four questions which you need to answer before you get started with digital marketing. Firstly, how much do you need to be? To figure out what you need to spend on digital marketing, you first need to clarify what your goals are. How you approach digital marketing can vary quite a bit depending on whether your ultimate goal is to drive clicks, conversation, uh, conversion or leads or sales, revenue or a certain return on investment that is ROI. When you get right down to it, the ultimate goal of any marketing effort should be ROI. After all, if your digital marketing spend isn't driving profitable revenue for your business, why are you marketing online then? Clicks and even conversions are great, but your company doesn't make money from clicks. In fact, you actually spend money on the clicks or conversions. It makes money from sales. With that in mind, you first, the first thing you need to determine before you decide what your actual marketing or what the digital marketing budget should be is to decide how much revenue you want to try. Once you know that, you can use the information to determine how much ad spent it will take to reach that revenue goal. The second question you should ask is, who are you marketing to? Once you know how much money you want to make from digital marketing, you need to identify who you are marketing to. This is critical because different buyer personalities require different marketing tactics. And even more importantly, different buyer personas 
turn into different types of buyers. So guess what? If you actually don't understand your buyer personas, you can't create an effective digital marketing strategy. If you've got a sales team, talking to sales can be one of the fastest ways to get a decent buyer persona together. After all, they are the ones who talk to the customers the most, right? And you know that very well. However, even talking to your sales team and doing a little research isn't enough to really get at the level of detail you need to put together an effective digital marketing plan. Actually, to do that, you need to get on the phone and call your actual customers and communicate to them. Ask how they found you, how they converted and what convinced them to pay you. This information will give you a ton of insight into your marketing and sales process that you can use to both improve the performance of your advertising and definitely choose your marketing budget. How is your marketing, uh, digital marketing, marketing different on mobile? As you can probably imagine, digital marketing on mobile is very different from digital marketing on desktop or laptop. These days, these differences are particularly important because smartphones are now the primary device because use, people used to interact with the internet. With 60% of internet activity taking place on mobile devices, the shift from desktop or laptop to mobile has had a profound effect on digital marketing. Actually, last year, Google Ads got rid of the sidebar ads on the result pages to create a consistent experience between mobile and desktop. Facebook Ads still shows sidebar ads on desktop, but only shown in stream ads on mobile. Shorter blog posts outperform longer blog posts on mobile. And the list of differences goes on and on and on. To be honest, actually, in today's digital marketing world, it's a good idea to assume that people will encounter your marketing on mobile and then adapt your strategy for desktop as needed. In addition to optimization or optimizing your ads for mobile, it's also important to think about your site and landing page experience. Surely, your website might look beautiful on desktop, but if it's impossible to navigate on mobile, you will actually end up alienating a significant percentage of your web traffic. At a minimum, you should have a mobile responsive website, but ideally your mobile experience should be specifically designed to facilitate an effortless mobile experience, not just an adapted version of your desktop experience. Whether most advertisers realize it or not, digital marketing is primarily a mobile experience now. The good news is, if you are relatively new to digital marketing, you don't have to worry about reinventing the wheel. You can start up by coming up and with compelling mobile advertisements and then adapt as needed for, you for the desktop. Now coming to the concluding part of digital marketing. Digital marketing is the marketing of the future. In addition to all of the benefits that I have discussed in this video earlier, you can track the results of your digital marketing efforts with incredible accuracy, which means it is easy to see which strategies are producing profitable results and which ones need some more workout and then it will give you some results. 
so i have discussed all about digital marketing the benefits the types how you're going to start about how you're going to carry it on the b2b b2c everything is discussed here the entire concept of digital marketing and if you even want to start your company's digital marketing strategies that is also discussed here so i'm sure you will be benefited out of it this is a really very practical video especially in today's uh, uh, times when we are much more you know related to mobile phones or laptops or desktops especially internet so i'm sure if you want to outgrow your business then this video will really be of some help to you so follow this video i'm sure you will like it and definitely uh, this will be beneficial to you so just concluding my video here thank you thank you for having patience in listening to the video and stay safe stay healthy take care of your family keep sanitizing and let's hope for a better world thank you